Hola, amigos del español. Welcome to a new Spanish lesson. In this video, we are going to talk about the verb to be, which means in Spanish ser o estar, in simple present. The idea is to explain to you the different uses of the verbs and the conjugations we can find. Quédate aquí y vamos a practicar español. So, ser and estar mean the same in English, to be. Let's see what are the conjugations for these verbs. Verbo ser. I am, yo soy, you are, tú eres, he, she, is, él, ella, es, we are. Nosotros somos. You are, plural. Vosotros sois. They are, ellos, ellas, son. Verbo estar. I am, yo estoy. You are, tú estás. He, she, is. Él, ella, está. We are, nosotros estamos. You are, plural. Vosotros, vosotras estáis. They are, ellos, ellas están. So, when do we use each verb? Let's start with the verb ser. Ser es usado principalmente para hablar de información objetiva de una persona o cosa. Normalmente es más permanente. Let's see when to use it. The verb ser is used to talk about description. When you say a name, yo soy Ani, ella es María. When you describe someone, ella es alta. Yo soy pequeña. When you talk about the material of something, la mesa es de madera. Ser is also used to talk about occupation, work, or any activity that you do for living. Yo soy tutora de español. Tú eres ingeniero. Ella es camarera. Muy bien. So, Ser is also used to talk about description of the personality of someone. Yo soy amable. Soy divertida. Ella es linda. We use ser to talk about time or specific moments. Son las 5 de la tarde. Hoy es lunes. We're talking about a specific ser word. is also used to describe the origin where something or someone is from. Example, yo soy de Colombia. Ella es de España. La ropa es de China. If you want to say if something belongs to someone, you can use ser. Ejemplo, las llaves son de María. Ese gato es de mi vecina. is for relationships between family, friends, or any kind of relationship. Example, yo soy hija de Lucía y Misael. Ella es mi prima. Él es mi tío. There are some other expressions where you use the verb ser. Example, Es necesario. Es increíble. Es lógico. Es posible. Es importante. Now, let's talk about the verb estar. Estar se usa para hablar de estados que pueden cambiar y para localizar objetos o personas. Let's see the different examples when to use it. 
talk about position of the body or any object. Example, yo estoy sentada. Ella está de pie. El vaso está sobre la Second, mesa. Second, to refer a location where is something or someone. Yo estoy en Colombia. Tú estás en España. We talk about progressive time. An activity that you are doing in that moment. Example, estoy enseñando español. Tú estás aprendiendo español. Muy bien. Also, when you talk about health condition or psychologic condition, you use the verb estar. Estoy muy saludable. O estás enferma. O ella está estresada. Finally, we use the verb estar to talk about emotions of the moment. Example. Estoy feliz. Estás triste. Ella está enojada. Here, I present you some typical mistakes that students have tendency to do using ser and estar. Let's check. Now is your turn to practice. Here is an exercise for you to do. Check the answers in the comments below. Well, that is all for today. Recuerda, es importante que practiques tu español. Estoy muy feliz de que veas este video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. I see you the next time in the next lesson. Take care. Cuídate. Chao.